wow geometric shapes guys portal three confirm xbox no that doesn't make sense oh they're just like the letters of the um the shapes of the buttons okay ah triangle ox square it must be a cheat code for something I'm so excited. Oh snap. Oh snap. Different choices. How we might end it up. No. I like the hand we've been dealt. Yes. Oh my god, the nostalgia though. for something great. What's up, GP? Let's go. Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. Or the, ah, I don't know, that thing. That magic. A what? I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. Are we actually going to see... A new Sounded GTA more, out of the like gate? Sneak, yeah, yeah, it's every no. Day. My job, my score, get your own. No way. We should talk about work. We out here gangbanging like it's 91. We all love banks. Are they remastering? A DJ. Dude, if they remastered three, though. Get oh. ahead with these bodies. This cannot be traced back to me. Champagne, anyone? Just sort of smash things. What is, what is this? So now what? Expanded and yes, interesting. Interesting. More content for GTA 5. I would not, I would be so down for a remaster, honestly. Give me like three. Dan and Dre's. GTA 5 PS4 owners get one line in GTA Cash every month until GTA 5 PS5 launches. Cool. I was like, there's no way they're gonna show anything. Like maybe maybe a title screen, but I I even doubt that. Oh no, triangle circle x square again, guys. It was great to kick today off with a look back at just some of the seminal moments of the last 25 years. And what better way to bridge our past and our future than with a game that's graced every PlayStation console, Grand Theft Auto. It's been a privilege partnering with Rockstar Games for many years now. And we're thrilled to open today with the news that that partnership will continue with PlayStation 5. It's now just over a year since we began sharing technical details of PlayStation 5, but today's the day that we've been looking forward to for years, when we get to show you just some of the games that demonstrate our belief that PlayStation 5 mocks the biggest generational transition our industry has yet seen. The content we've curated for today's event showcases how PS5 has inspired developers to create new experiences that are transformative 
in how they look, sound and feel. Enough from me. We're going to have the games do our talking. Okay. Sounds like a plan. All game footage you're about to see from this point forward in the show have been captured from PS5 si systems. That's good. A hero is just someone who doesn't give up. Your dad said that. He was right. Ooh, Avengers gameplay. Now it's your turn. Oh, yes. Go be a hero, Miles. Are they making a new Spider-Man? Okay. Let's do this. <gasps> oh, yes! Yes! Oh, my God. Yes, the last Spider-Man was so good. Miles Morales, let's go, let's go. Oh, I'm already hyped. I'm already hyped. Holiday 2020, yes. Yes, 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 yes. えっと、今日は皆さんに僕らが作っているえ、今回のグランツーリスモはおそらくこれまでのね、Oh my god, I'm so hyped. Spider-Man was so good. So freaking good. I'm I'm so hyped. Oh. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Cars shiny. Gran Turismo. Um. It's hard to tu keep tuned into this. When was the last Gran Turismo? I actually played an old G Gran Turismo game. Oh, okay. This uh, this looks cool. I played a really old Gran Turismo game. I see, for me, I like the concept that of like earning money to like improve your car. I don't know if that's like common with racing games. I definitely like progression in any game, so. Like a career mode. Okay, this looks pretty cool. I'm sure they'll let Loco import her Tesla truck. <laughs> this is in engine. Cause this is gameplay. This is this is beautiful. My god, guys. See, I wanna I, I would play this with a racing wheel. This looks actually good. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, so close. Let's go. Oh my god, this, this car is faster. And actually, like, I, I'm not a big thing, like, big on racing games, but even that, like, I just got my eye, like, looks amazing. What the hell is that thing? Oh, is this the, um, is this this game where you're small? No, no, that's an epic game. What is this? The land before time? Oh my god, they're making a new Ratchet and Clank? No way. 
it what appears the, the dimensions are collapsing on one another. If we cannot get to... Get to... Right. The ship. I mean, we can't be that far. What? I have it in my sight. They have found us, Ratchet. Wow, wow, wow. How do I steer this thing? Ask nicely. Slow down, please. That's not listening. The dimensions are weakening considerably. Holy crap. Oh my god, I don't like this. <laughs> Now this is pod well, racing. <laughs> oh damn, that's awesome. Yo, this looks legit. Oh my gosh. It's me. This looks awesome. Whoa. Ratchet, we are too late. Oh no. Ratchet? Who? Hi, I'm Marcus Smith, creative director at Insomniac Games. The entire studio is so excited to be able to share with you a first ever look at Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. That was dope. A brand new, full length, interdimensional adventure built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5. We're doing things we've never been able to do before, like use dimensional rifts to be able to leap from planet to planet nearly instantly, or put ray trace reflections on Clank. All of our alien worlds are filled with density and life previously unseen. Plus, Ratchet's all new arsenal is more exciting than ever thanks to the dual sense controllers I'm, enhanced feedback. This, this, this Ratchet thing so and Clank far. are near and dear to our hearts at Insomniac, and we can't wait to share more with you in the future. But for now, here's another look. This is so dope already. Did you see that? Dude, this. This is sharp. What is even happening? It's Ratchet and Clank. Sand shots from above. Oh, damn. Nice sand shark. Nice sand shark. My heroes. Was that? What the? Dragon? Or at least a very large octopus. What? I will never get used to that. Hey, break reality. So no fall damage? Don't let him get to the boss! Did dump in the various greenery really surface after all these years just to try and take over the universe again. Oh damn. Yeah. I kind of wish he was doing a what, oh, what is that? This is the <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> Baying out the tentacles. <laughs> like what? Oh dang. Dude, the particle effects, like breaking boxes and the particle effects, like wow. Look at that, like this is, this is wow. That's all of the so much stuff everywhere. Captured on PS5, that's so dope. 
Well, more Phineas, it's called Rift Apart, so they kind of had the reveal that was going to happen. Like, I think that's pretty early into the game. This is so great. I love doing stuff like this with you guys. This is so awesome. Freaking, it's like Christmas. Uncharted? Wait, no, Square does Tomb Raider. Wait, no, this is neither of those. Well, maybe. Oh, what the? What the? Oh, this is new. Project Athia. Okay. Oh my god, what the hell? Okay. I'm curious, Square Enix. I'll probably get a press release here in a minute in my email. <laughs> let, me, let me check if I get to, the, to my inbox in the next few minutes. <laughs> I miss who? Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Almost robot. I'm already liking it. This is me. Oh, this is so interesting. I'm so intrigued. You guys know I like I like robot stuff. Everyone's a robot. This is like Robot Kingdom in in uh, Saga. Robots and cats. I mean, who needs humans anyways, right? They'll be obsolete soon. I mean, we'll be obsolete soon. Do cats rule the world? Stray. I don't know. I'm intrigued. I'm seeing a lot of things that are intriguing me, chat. 2021. I am very intrigued. Are we the cat? These are great questions we should all be asking ourselves all the time, every day. Are we the cat? Things to think about. But I want to be the robot. Gosh, the system is gorgeous. The future of gaming is just so exciting. Amazing, it's amazing. I hate speakers on your controller, to be fair. I hate when sound comes out of the controller. Same, yeah, it's, I, I'd hate that actually. Making games used to be about these constant trade-offs between the artistic vision and technical limitations. With PS5, we're not going to be burdened like that. We're going to be able to realize our artistic vision a lot better. It's got a ton of horsepower, which is very easy to unlock. And it's a, a machine that's really easy to develop on. The PS5 will present a paradigm shift as to what players will come to expect from gaming. Will let us tell stories, make worlds, 
create gameplay that I think will truly captivate the player and really surprise quite a few people. Please take a look at this new franchise for Worldwide Studios coming exclusively for PlayStation 5. The presenters are CGI? Are you trolling? You're trolling. Over and over, I relive my first moments on this alien planet. The crash. The attack. My death. The attack. My death. Trapped in this endless cycle. Even death is no escape. Each time I awake, this planet seems somehow different. As if changing. This world is becoming part of me, infecting my mind, my memories. The longer I spend here, the more I can feel my sanity slip away. But I cannot lose hope. What the? Yo, okay, this looks cool. Scary, but cool. Choice is to keep fighting. To keep looking for answers. Okay. My only hope is to break the cycle. Before the cycle breaks me. I'm uh I'm I'm on the fence. It looks interesting and intrigue might pull me over the, uh, you know, scary aspects. We'll see. It's, it looks cool. She sounds like the woman from Fringe, but I don't know if that was actually her, but it sounded like her. It sounded like the voice definitely sounded familiar. I love sci-fi games. Me too. I, I love it. It had like a, a soulsy vibe in a way, just like the, the like almost like an alien isolation vibe too. For um Sack Boy, a big adventure. This looks cute. This is a little, is this a little platformer? This looks cute. Oh, this looks awesome. Yep, I'm a fan. Yep, I, I'm liking this. This is cool. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, oh, you can co-op this? Oh, that's awesome. Tell me this is co-op. Oh, I love that. The co-op platformer. Oh, man. Death counter incoming. <laughs> what? Four player? Oh, tell me it's four player mini games. Oh, heck yes. Oh. The previous one had co-op? I don't think I've played a previous one. I've never seen this. Oh, that's awesome. Lucid? Lucid made this game? It's gonna be 
be like a roller derby? Who's have made this game? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. So it's like a ro roller derby, like uh, Rocket League. Oh wait, you can get out of your car? What? I don't even understand what's happening. I'd be really curious to see how they make this game fluid. Between like being on foot and being in a car. I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> it looks cool. There's a lot of like splashiness though. Like I'm not really sure how the gameplay is. Oh my god, okay. Well apparently you can cut cars in half. Destruction All Stars? I don't think I'll play that. <laughs> I'm sorry. It looked cool, but then I was like, well, I feel it's gonna like. I don't know. If it, it feels like they, they try to make it like the effects were trying to uh be better than like you know what the gameplay actually Hello, was everyone. showing. My you name know is what I mean? Josh Greer, and this is my brother Mike. I feel like they're mad. We're from Emberlab, a small team with a background in film and animation, and we're very excited today to share with you the first look at our new game. It's a story full of adventure and charm that has themes in personal growth and redemption. So please enjoy. How are they CGI? Stop saying they're CGI. <laughs> Stop saying that. Okay, what is this? I'm interested. I'm curious. This looks cute as heck. They are. I know you are kind. You sense the power that flows through this land. Yet, you do not fully understand it. <laughs> Driven by the belief that you can help these troubled spirits. You cannot hide your weakness from me. You have no power here, Kena. Ooh, I am, uh, I'm enjoying this. Oh, I like these little dudes. I want to collect them all. Oh, I want one. How do I get one? It's so pretty. This game is so pretty. It's so, this game is way too cute. Oh my gosh. I, this game looks so good already. Yes, I want this. I'm, yep, this looks great. Kenna? Kina? Bridge of Spirits. Kina? This looks so cool. Me likey, me likey, me likey. <laughs> Porg Herder 2021. <laughs> oh, it, it was so pretty. Oh, so cute. You ever feel like you're just waiting for a sign? To do that thing you've always meant to do. Sometimes I feel like I'm just standing on the edge of doing great things. But something's holding me back. Maybe okay. it's just nerves. Maybe it's the fear that I'll never be as good as what I imagine when I'm still just standing on the edge. 
but if we've got nothing else to lose, might as well jump. It gave me Life is Strange vibes for sure. End of an era, though. Hi, I'm Lorne Lanning, and I'm here to share with you a game that I've been dying to make. It's an emotionally engaging story where rescuing is rewarding, failure is devastatingly hilarious, and the memories should last you a lifetime. Take a look. They believed, trusted, followed, and it led them here. You may have escaped the murderous blades, but the fate of your entire people is up to you. What the? What the Not really sure what I just watched. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, what? PlayStation Five によって我々の考える東京のビジュアルを実現できました。今までに見たことのない東京の魅力を見て聞いて感じることができます。これからお見せするのはゴーストワイヤー東京の世界初のゲームプレイ動画です。<gasps> Ooh, Ghost Wire. ーー I remember this. スペースな東京。そこに潜む脅威と美しさを感じ取っていただけると思います。Or, ぜひお楽しみください。Like, We didn't really get to see much. This looks interesting. Your threats, others don't. <laughs> Fight Ooh. when others won't. That's beautiful. That's that's creepy. It's up to you to save Tokyo. Okay, first person. Oh my god. What? <laughs> so it's got kind of a dishonored vibe. First person like abilities and stuff. It's like Kung Fu with magic attached to it. Do the fight, um, 
cool girl ghost. What? That was awesome. Okay. I mean, that was pretty cool. Okay. Okay. I'd be scared to play this by myself. Yeah, that, that's why you're going to make me play it, right? I know. You guys are often too scared to play this, these games and you make me do it. Carve out a future for people haunted by oblivion. Propelled by dream. Okay. Simulation, maybe? I love sim games. Tell me it's a sim game. Let's see how it's fun. We are going higher. Oh. No Man's Sky expansion. Why is there so much water? It's making me nervous. Okay. I don't know what kind of game it is. box. The music is really turning me off from this game. It just reminds me of like a bad game. I don't know why. It reminds me of like a racing game. This is a multiplayer, isn't this? This is like gonna be like a... This is like a PvP game, I bet you. PvPvE maybe? Godfall? like bad action movie music yeah um i don't know i don't know the, the music distracts me too much like arena, it does remind me of an arena game and it, the music like <laughs> i don't it reminds me of a racing game it reminds me of like yeah it, okay let's move on from that let's forget that Of Greece. 
Oh. Like a Shadow of Colossus vibe. Very, very, very curious. Oh no, here we go. The, the symbols. Look for the symbols chat. They're everywhere. There's so many games I want to play. Hitman? The Hitman franchise got so weird. It was so always going to end like this. your hard work all your sacrifice only sped up the process like the story mode because Hitman as a franchise got real weird. Like it kind of we'll talk from about it later. Ion Tractive. In Hitman 3, Agent 47 is back for his most intimate and professional contract in his entire career. This is also the dramatic conclusion for the World of Assassination trilogy. I'm so proud to be here to present a little glimpse of the gameplay where CGI. Agent 47 Stop. is on top of the world in Dubai. Enjoy. But he's not CGI. Stop. He's not CGI, chat. Fix your eyeballs, you bunch of trolls. Freaking trolls. Yeah, I'm CGI too, right here. CGI streamer. That gun is so long. Okay, that didn't really show much. But yeah, like Hitman, the last Hitman I didn't even play because it, it, they went episodic and it was like so in depth that it made it like kind of annoying to play like it just said there was no like investment in the story and like it was like a sim it was a uh, it was a hitman simulator and to me i liked the earlier hitman hitman games where there was like a story and it wasn't just it was like so like you know i just wasn't a fan of the last one i think this will be better The hell? Why do these things look familiar? Astro's there. Hmm, I don't know. Really, Andy? Oh, look at the symbols. Look for them. Look at them. You're gonna like go to sleep with those symbols in your head.
This looks cool. Wait, was he surfing on penguins? Oh. Leave the bear alone. Schmeetz? Schmeetz. Ooh, I like some schmeetz. <laughs> what? I want to be the old guy. That's 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 actually me. I just I just take baths and sleep. That's my life. That's that's me. Pooping, bathing, and sleeping. Like Monty Python? Like what's happening? <laughs> Drops a bomb. This looks actually pretty interesting. That looks pretty interesting. What's up everyone? I'm Zion Williams to the New Orleans Pelicans. Here we go. The CGI. first season for NBA 2K21. Y'all are not ready for this. Look at the CGI. NBA 2K21. What happens when it's like the year 3000? I guess 3K. So you go up to 3K. I ain't trying to bring you down, but for real, you might as well give up now. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown. I'm the first one in and the last one out. Whoever owns the place got to drag me out. Am I going to get DMCA'd for this, guys? I don't mean to say when I stray. You better just... Basketball. Miss basketball, funky. What do you want? Like, is is do they really need to show gameplay? <laughs> I don't. I, <laughs> if it's two K twenty one. Do they play without crowds because of? Oh my god. This is that game, isn't it? Nope. Okay, what? Amazing. Aren't they? Half bug, half snack. A very recently discovered species, entirely unique to this island. Oh, this one's lively. Beautiful seed patterns. Mm. Oh, and it's tasty too. That's messed up. What the? Welcome to the island of bug snakes. From the creators of Octodad. What is this? No, no, no. Why? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> What is happening? It's bug, snacks. bug snacks? Oh my gosh. My invitation is open. Come join me on the island of Bug Snacks. <sighs> Liz! Liz, I, um, I was trying to carry a lamp with my weenie hands, but I dropped it and uh, now the town's on fire. Oh. Again, with my weenie hand. Ate too many hot dogs, did ya? It looks so stupid that it looks fun. I mean, tactical. Have you played uh, Octodad? Uh oh. 
Well, that looked creepy. That looked creepy as heck. Bug snack. I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head. Thanks. Hi everyone. Thank you for being with us today for this very special event. But before we get to the end of the show, I have something very near and dear to me. It hasn't been two hours. This looks cool. Ready? Interesting. Beefy. Very creepy. Wait. No. What is this? Wait. What is this? Is this Elden Ring? Demon souls? Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh my god. We get to play Demon Souls chat. Let's go, baby. We're playing Demon Souls. Destin is a next gen first person shooter what? about rival assassins locked in a time loop. This is our unique vision. What Arkane is all about. All right, all right, Before chat, we're doing it. Gameplay, a surreal player-driven story smashed together. Want to see some stylish action? Check this out. making this easy. Dishonored slash be happy feel? One game? Good morning, Black Reef. Another day, another yeah. death. Our time loops fun. We have to kill the other person, but rewind. You have to rewind or something. For everyone else on this island, this place is paradise. A never-ending party where hunting me is the main attraction. And no matter how I try to escape. They always cut me down. But I'm one stubborn motherfucker.
Every loop, I'm learning a little more, piecing together the puzzle. There's eight targets, and they all gotta die before midnight. Oh, dang. There's just one little snag. Yeah, Arcane did uh, Dishonored. So that would make sense, right? You thought it was going to be easy? Juliana Blake. Black Reef's protector and a real pain in my ass. She may kill me a million times, but eventually, inevitably, I will break this fucking loop. It's interesting. We we kind of have we saw like another game with this with this concept. Kind of. But yeah, you can see the dishonor influence. It looks cool. Oh god. I think it looks pretty cool. I would probably play this game. I don't like watching you die. I like killing you. There's a difference. Damn. Damn. Okay. Seems stressful. Yeah, you have to kill everyone before midnight? That does seem pretty stressful. Story. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father. So All quiet. Hard at work. The sound mixing. What's happening? But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Sorry, it's like really quiet. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch, and into the forest deep. What is it with that creepy story? It's just a local tale. You're really into that stuff? Quit being so paranoid. No, no! Friendly! Friendly! Who are you? Who sent you? What are you? I don't like this. It's stressing me out. They're coming. Who is? Outlast for me. Game stressing me out. Raid Shadow Legends. What? A new Resident Evil? Village? Oh, yeah. Resident Evil 8 Village. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we heard about this. That's what I was thinking it was. Chris? Sorry, Ethan. Why? Yeah, I'm not going to play that, so you're going to have to find another stream for that one, guys. <laughs> it looks scary. I don't know why I had another... I, I, I had in my head that uh, uh, I, I knew there was a new Resident Evil being made. I don't know why. I, I, you know what? I got it in my head with uh, Final Fantasy. I just got like confused, I think. I don't know. My brain was mush. The sound mixing on this video is not very good, I, I have to say. If they had an extra week, I'm just saying.
pray? Does look like Death Stranding. What? What is happening? Like Death Stranding and, and more in the future, I guess. I don't know. What the? Okay, but do we get to deliver packages? 2022, what the heck? That was the real moon landing. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Oh, 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 Horizon, Horizon. The old ones. Yes. Perished a thousand years ago. Their great cities turned to graves. Oh my gosh, I have goosebumps already. In their place came new life. Oh my god, it's happening! It's happening, chat! It's happening! Oh god. The new dangers. I must find a way to stop it. Oh no. I don't like that. Or it will get worse and worse. Oh, dang. Oh, boy. Until it destroys us all. There's nothing I wouldn't do to save this world. No depth I won't explore. No secret I won't unlock. Oh. Yes. No barrier I won't cross. This mission is mine alone. Dang, look at all these biomes. If I falter, if I fail, there won't be anyone left to stop what's coming. Forbidden West. Horizon Forbidden West. But whatever comes. I will be ready. You're gonna put an 
I run on that thing, you think that's gonna do anything with that thing? What the heck? We gotta need some bigger arrows, chat. Did we, did we get a year on that? On behalf did we get of the a entire team at Gorilla, we're happy to share the first look right now. <laughs> at Horizon Forbidden West. We're continuing Elga's story as she moves west to her far future America. To brave a beautiful but dangerous frontier masked with mysterious new threats. Get ready to explore distant lands ravaged by massive storms. And take on new powerful machines as you return to the majestic world of Horizon. Stay tuned for the much hair looks more. Real we it can't is wait real. for you to get your hands on it. These are real people. Did, did they give a year, guys? I think there's a lot to look forward to for the community. I think fans are going to be really pleased. As a game designer and storyteller, this is incredibly exciting. Space We're talking Mom. a whole new generation of ideas and experiences that we can create for the player. No matter where they are, no matter who they are. New experiences like we've never had before. More iconic, interesting characters. More atmospheric, immersive worlds for players to explore. We want to wow players. Respect the unexpected. And I, for one, can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait to share them with you. It's so exciting. Incredibly exciting. It's really about the players and As a developer, that's an amazing feeling to have. Welcome to PlayStation 5. So, Warframe, PS5 confirmed. Warframe, PS5 confirmed. We are PlayStation 5. I want to jump in this thing. It looks like a giant ball pit <laughs> that I want to be in. We get it. You can make things that we want to touch. We get it. Interesting looking. Please tell me it's actually. Wait a second. Is the outside not perfectly? Oh, I hate this. Oh, this is gonna be such a disaster to fit into places. I don't want it to look cool, guys. That shape is so... That's a nightmare shape. I don't, I don't like it. You are not stacking anything on this. They do not want you to put anything on top of this. They don't want that to fit anywhere. Okay, that's way better. I'm, I'm assuming that's... Oh, so the, oh, no seed. Oh, okay, I like that. I like that. Oh, okay, I like that one. I like that one. Yes, okay. Yes, no CD drive. I don't want that. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That sucks for the CD buyers, though. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Hmm. We hope you've enjoyed the first glimpse of our future today. You've seen our most striking console design yet, and you've seen games that striking, can only sure. be enjoyed with the full range of PlayStation 5's features and power.
At PlayStation, we believe in generational transitions, and we put years of work into We're making them We're not going to give happen. you a price. It's going to come in the press to release tomorrow. The unique benefits of moving from one generation to the next. Thank you for joining us. We're launching later this year, and we have tons more to share. Welcome to PlayStation 5. They're not going to give a price point during this. You'll find out in like an hour or something, I'm, I'm sure. One million dollars. Yo, new Spider-Man, New Horizon. This was really hype. This was a hype conference. But what if Demon comes? Souls? I'm I'm a hundred percent playing Demon Souls. I mean you guys know. Are you guys gonna get the digital edition? I'm sorry, but the other edition looks... I hate that shape. This is just so inconvenient. It's inconvenient to travel with. It's inconvenient to store. To put on the side. I want my CDs. I mean, I guess you kind of... Man, is, is there a way to attach an external CD drive? That would be better. I want to keep using my disc. Yeah, that's the only problem. I just hate that shape. shape i it's it's not it's guys i i hate it so much <laughs> i'm gonna be a hater